Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will learn how to set up server side data table into the Laravel. In last two data table tutorial we learn how to set up data table into the Laravel and its features. If you still not watch, you should watch it first. Tutorial link given into the description. The basic needs of this server side data table into the Laravel we need to install Yajra Laravel data table package. This is a very good and great package for the render the data table and it's very helpful to render data table with server side. All the compatible versions with Laravel given here. You can use it with Laravel 8 as well and Laravel 4.2 as well. So this package is very good and this is the client side data table in the client side data table everything managed by the script pagination and everything I load all the data at once in the table and then script manage everything and in server side when data table is load make one ajax call and get data from the server side and render it into the html and table when we change page and when we search into the server side rendering it's make one ajax call and get data again from the server so i going to make this client side table to server side using this package so let's first install this yajra data table into the this application so let's stop the server first and try to install this yajra data table so you can see here now this package is installed let's take next step we have uh, laravel 5.7 so no need to do this step because after 5.5 this thing discover automatically so let's keep this and take next step and generate the config file let's clear the terminal and fire this command and you can see data table dot php file generated let's open the config file into the editor and you can see here lots of the custom configuration given here and you can change it based on your requirement so this is the config file of the yajra data table so basic setup of the yajra data table is done and let's now convert this client side to server side using JS so first of all I need to create one data table class for the query and one more thing is do not forget to add the JS and CSS which is part of the data table setup and I already done in the basic installations and specify data table here so let's create one data table class first of all and open the category controller i going to use this index method for the render the category data and also this method used for render the page so i need to write here if the request of ajax then i return the data table query so let's specify here and we need to return here data table so inside the app directory i going to create one folder it's called queries and let's create one file it's called 
category data table dot php and let's specify here the class category data table specify one method it's called get and written here the just the query of the category eloquent model and do not forget to add here the namespace of the this category model so now this data table class is ready for use into the Yazra data table and we need to specify here we need to specify here return and data tables and call of static method of the data table class and specify here new category and specify the get method of the category data table and specify make method of the data table and you can see here this class I created here category data table so now when page of category index is loading that time make one ajax call and get the request here and check if call is ajax then return the data table query and result to the into the response but one more thing is do not forget to add use statement of the data table and uh, category data table so let's add it here use data table and next is app yes. queries and category data table and let's confirm it yes so now this thing is ready and next of is we need to configure JS table here but I going to use this index method so let's open first file by default categories route name are there categories dot index categories dot show because I going to use the resource into the route so let's open the blade file of the index and I going to define one URL into the script and const category index url equal to specify route and specify categories dot index so now url is done and now need to specify processing true here and server side true as well it's make server side true and processing true to the data table so data table no mm, need to make one ajax call and load the data into the table and now we need to specify here ajax and specify url so let's specify this url here for the getting the data and now need to specify columns array here and here we need to specify we need to specify here object data as a name and 
name as a name also this one into the single quote same for the second column we have a three column let's open the table blade and you can see in the previously we load the data using PHP way and three column are there first one is name second one is description and third one is action so let's specify description first into the index so let's specify data for description and same for the name and specify name so data table find the column name and data from the response using this name and third one is action column we need to render here buttons and icons for the render the this all edit and delete icon so right now this code is no longer useful so I going to remove it and just keep HTML code into the table only and now I going to configure third column here so let's specify data and I have already code of the HTML I converted into JavaScript from the Laravel and you can see here I need to give URL here of the index and slash row dot id so edit URL generated here so now this server side data table is ready let's refresh the browser and check let's refresh but before the refresh I open the network tab so you can easily see the ajax call of the data table when data table is loaded let's refresh oops got ajax I did spelling mistake here so let's change it and let's refresh and you can see here now tables is loaded and you can see here the ajax call did by data table and here is the response and you can see the 10 data into the array of the data and everything loaded here you can see here two buttons edit and delete edit also working let's click here and you can see here and everything let's make one call for resignation and you can see here now second ajax call did by this category table let's clear and make search and you can see here data table search using ajax call and make call to the server and get the data from the server and render it here so it's very easy to integrate and easy to set up it uh, right now delete button is not working but we need to delete data using ajax so in the next tutorial i will show you how to delete data from the table using ajax thank you for watching the video please do not forget to subscribe my channel feel free to ask any question into the comment box thank you